All right, this is the closed bar entry orders module for the enhanced chart trader. I've got a Renko chart up here, which is the perfect chart to demonstrate these features. So the closed bar entry orders module, again, adds these buttons right here to the enhanced chart trader. And it's allowing you to submit orders when a bar closes. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my SIM account so that I can demonstrate these features. Um, probably with some trades I wouldn't normally take, but we're just I'm just trying to show you guys the features here. So we'll go to SIM 103. Um, so let's say we wanna get short on the next red bar. We would hit this close button because the small button is red. You can read down here, it says sell one market on down bar close. So you can see we got the down bar close and we're immediately short in this trade. So I'll just go ahead and move my target up to get out of this if it hits R1. So these small buttons can um, allow you to determine the direction of the bar. So clicking this button tells you what bar you're looking for. So you could buy, using this green close button, you'd be buying, so I should put tooltips on these, but you'd be buying a green bar, you could buy a red, a red bar if you want to do that, or you could buy any bar. So this configuration right here if I turn it on, it's gonna just go ahead and get long at the close of any bar. So when this bar closes, we're gonna be long, whether it's down or up. So there you can see that that trade triggered. So let's say that I wanna get long on the next green bar only. Same thing, I would initiate this. Now, this is kind of so the bar did close, it closed green, so it got us long. Now this, this logic stays initiated until you get the bar that you're looking for. So if I close this trade, again, let's say I wanna get long on the next green bar. So a down bar is not, is not gonna cancel the trade, it's gonna keep the trade on Trying to figure out, let me just do a short on a red bar. So now we're getting short on a red bar. So you can see the logic stays initiated even as green bars close. So it's waiting for the next bar. So we could get 10 green bars up in a row. And then finally, when we get the down red bar, we would be short. So the closed bars entry order also allows you to select between market or limit. So if you want to avoid some slippage, you can go with a limit order. However, understanding that there might be instances where you are not filled if the market's moving fast, uh, you could your limit order could be left resting uh, without being filled in, in the direction that you're looking for. So look at my notes here. That's a quick summary. Again, I'll just cover this again. So if you want to go long, you can go long on the next up bar. You can go long on the next down bar or long on any bar. Same with short. You can go short on the next down bar, short on the next up bar, or short on any bar. <clears throat> the cancel on bar close button, if on, it's gonna cancel the logic when the bar closes. So if you don't get the bar that you're looking for, or the bar that you have the indicator configured to look for, it would go ahead and cancel the logic. Otherwise, you can go ahead and, like I described earlier, leave the logic on. So say you're wanting to go, let's just say in this case, you wanna get short on the next red bar. This logic will stay enabled to sell one on the next down bar close until that bar happens. So we could get a bunch of green up bars. Logic stays in place. There's another close of a green bar. There's another close of a green bar. 
and then as soon as we get the red bar we'll be short so we keep getting green bars about to get it closed here looks like there's our short we can see it put a limit order in because we had limit selected right here so that's actually the disadvantage right of using limit is that there's a chance you may not be filled now in this case the market did come back up to fill us and now it's headed back down so that's an overview of the closed bar entry orders. Please reach out if you have any questions. In the bottom right corner of our website, there's a help button. Uh, our team is ready to answer any of your questions that you guys might have. Uh, really appreciate your time. Thanks for listening.